An artist's definition of art is proof that no two see or create the same thing. The same holds true in the eyes of the beholder. Art is subjective, and so when you look at a piece of art, you know immediately if you like it or you don't like it. Over 100 artists from across the country are showcasing their works at the 34th annual Sears Art Show and Sale at Dixie State University. Among the pieces in this year's show are these handcrafted ceramic vases created by beloved art professor Glenn Blakely in honor of his memory. His contribution to the art community and to DSU will forever be glazed in our memories. Museum curator Kathy Cecilwitz said the stunning variety of artwork in this show is impressive. There's always a great diversity of styles um, from traditional realism and even uh, trompe l'oeil, which means fool the eye. It's like photorealism. We have art that is more loose brush strokes and we might say it's more abstracted. We also have um, uh, watercolors and oils and pastels. We have sculpture and uh, ceramics. We have all kinds of art. It's interesting, the past few years we've had several bison in each show. So I think that's really interesting. Uh, we have uh, beautiful landscapes. We have beautiful small flower pictures. We have some that are portraits, but they're also on a, a very intellectual level, I would say, that um, people would enjoy. One artist who was featured in this year's show is Kim Whitesides for his 2020 Purchase Prize winner, Night Flight. He used to sit at an Art Deco table as a preschooler, probably three years old, maybe four, and I would draw airplanes in the war from the Second World War. Whiteside style turned from sketches to hippie style Art Deco, seeing solid lines and using a lot of color. They were all the same hippie kind of flowers and birds and bright colors. The Seven Up people were having, out of Chicago, they had a campaign for the Uncola. And they called me to do Uncola ads for Seven Up, and I did like four or five billboards that were all over the country. He eventually turned to portraits, then landscapes, and finally realism using still life. Digital world came and computers were invented to do graphic design. No more money to do it. Travel around and learning how to do the oil paintings, the desert landscapes. This year's show will also be available to view online and buyers are encouraged to get their bids in early. This invitational is very important to the Sears Art Museum because it's our only fundraiser. And the really cool thing about that for buyers is 37% of the purchase prize of the art is a donation to the Sears Art Museum and therefore is tax deductible. So it's a great place for people to come and buy art. Whether you're a collector or just a connoisseur of art, this is one show you won't want to miss. And then it runs uh, Monday through Saturday, 10 to 6 each day, and it runs until April 3rd. From the Sears Art Museum, Melissa Anderson, Community Education News.